<laughs> Hi guys, I'm not in the studio. Oh shit, hold on. Another question here. Um, so thinking, I'll give you a second to think about, you know, your entire, every song you've put out. What song would you recommend people to go back to and think, okay, this encapsulates Tuan, like. I w- okay, I was talking to um, a guy um, the other day and I was playing uh, one of my songs called Smells Like Dior. Yes, I like that song. I, I love that song, yeah. Like, um, I record it. Um, during the recording session, I wanted to make it poppy. And then I went on and performed live that song with my guitar and with my band. So it's like all live instrument. And he said, it's like, you should record that version, like the live version, because it's, that's how I wrote the song. It's more very, it's very intimate. It's, it's, um, sentimental and like, with the live instrument, like you can, the audience can actually feel what I'm singing. Yeah, because it's stripped back. Yeah. The production isn't oh, maybe overshadowing it at all. It's really about the, the feeling and mm-hmm. the lyrics. Okay. But I, I feel like the recording that I released is also, it has a vibe in, w- with it. Like you can still bobbing heads and moving hips with that one. But um, if you're looking for something like stripped down and, and, looking for just to feel something more than the recording version. You can just watch my live performance. You know, we were talking about, you know, your very first song and how much you've evolved as an artist. And I just wanted to ask you, you know, you came out with an album already. What are some lessons you learned from that album that you want to take with you coming into this next upcoming, you know, project that you have coming up? Definitely, I need better planning. I am like an advertiser and marketer myself, but I definitely need like a a different mindset than, than an artist promoting their own music um, because you know like sometimes you make that song it's like you're a child and you sometimes you don't really know what's the weakness or like who is the best audience to push that song out for um, so I think for this time I would love to have somebody um, on my team to do like promotion with me it's like outsourcing yeah, yeah, absolutely. Getting another perspective, mm-hmm. I think, would be is always a great idea, um, and just getting someone who's like specializes in that area, I think, will always help. So, um, like, in what way with advertising, marketing, like, what ways uh, do you like do artists now focus on marketing? Like, um, I was talking in terms of um, digital marketing, so it's like social media, website, and like all the SEO and stuff. But also, like, I have been. I completely forgot about flyers, like little flyers that they like putting put on um, the traffic light and everything. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that is super close up and like it's almost like you can see me on the street mm. with a QR code. Yeah, and you can just like take a picture of the QR code and then you can like listen to my music or or sort of like a like a album drop pop up. Yeah. Like, I, I wanted to do that, you know? Like, I wanted to like do, that. like, some kind of, like, sort of, like, promo yeah. before the album come out. I want to do, like, a listen party. Listening party is listen always party. fun. Yeah. Um, invite my friends and whoever. Like, I'm, I'm going to put it on Eventbrite because I'm not that big. So I'm just going to put it on Eventbrite and, like, people okay. will right. people come. And I'm then, just like, saying. I'll, I'll play, I'll play, I'll play them. Like I better be invited. Album. That's all I know. Yeah. And then, I better be invited. And then, like, I... <laughs> no, you are invited. Oh, yeah, okay. You can come anytime. Yeah, I, I want to do that. And I definitely will sing, like, two or three songs live um, in that session. Yeah, and then after that, like, people will... Like I ask people to like tweet about it or like mm-hmm. they, yeah, that, you know, get like, it out to their friends. Like yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think nowadays like the rollout is as 
big as you know the music itself because it's almost like you, you want to create a moment around your music so yeah i'm very excited who knows maybe we might bring chesco's choice to the listening party and uh the press yes the press yeah <laughs> i'm the press i get the press pass i get the little <laughs> lanyard that says like vip the press yeah backstage 